Praise God and welcome. We're starting the concert waltz. It's in the uh, key of A major and it's part of the St. Paul music series. So we start with an A chord way up high in the ninth position and get a little waltz rhythm going. Notice how I lift up. Change bass note. We'll slide to B minor. F. E7. Glissando, slide here, starting with F natural, and up one fret to F sharp, and slide it up a fret. C minor to a B note, and E7 with a C sharp added to it. E for the melody. Now we have a melody in the top, and we have a little counter melody underneath. Here's the counter melody to a B, and a little arpeggio underneath. An E chord. E again on the melody. Counter melody to a D. Counter melody ending with a chord. Now we're going to have harmonic on a D, and then we have half bars on the sixth fret. I'm oh, sorry, seventh fret to the ninth to an F sharp here with a D and a G sharp. Down to a D with an open B and E. F sharp and a bass, that leads us to a harmonic on the 12th fret, E string. And now we have the D chord formation, which is now a G, up two frets to an A chord. And then this same chord we had before, which is a D, G sharp, and F sharp, picking it backwards this time. And then we have a D and F natural and a B for the chord. And now we move to a C sharp and a bass. This is C sharp 7 with a little dissonance and F sharp and then I have an open G string which I slide back with more dissonance here and then we go back to the C sharp 7 a little dissonance and then we go all the way up to the 12th fret on an E the D G sharp and an open G string for that distance. Harmonica E string. And then so we have an E and A and a C natural, C sharp, and then we have the E7 chord, which I use a little arm vibrato. Now this leads us to a little free section here, a cadenza passage. It starts on the open E. Then we do this triplet, which is um, going to be A sharp to B, and we cross and skip this to the next string, and we go to the string that's one further down, so the open D string. And we're going to do that in several spots, and always skipping the string next to it and going to the one string further down. So we start on the, on the A sharp, to an F, to a C, to a F sharp, and now we put our hand down on this D, B, F sharp, and we're going to just bring this triplet down, chromatic, to an open B string, and then we do the same thing here, starting with a G sharp and an F sharp and an open E string, down a fret, up a fret, down a fret, and then to a D sharp harmonic on the seventh fret A string. Strum this little chord. So what is that? So an F natural, a D, and a G sharp. As we work our way back now to the A chord, like the beginning. Bass note. up now from the F natural up to F sharp. All of that the same as it was before. And it goes through the whole section again. Um, <clears throat> but when it gets to um, we 
add a little section here after this. And we're going to play a harmonic on the 12th fret. And then we're going to go down to here. This is a ninth chord, starting on E. So it's E ninth chord. And move it up two frets. And up two more frets. And down a fret. Harmonic on the fifth fret. And then we have kind of an augmented chord. Up two frets. Up two more frets. And down a fret. And we do a harmonic on the fifth fret, E string. Harmonic on the um, 12th fret E string. And then we start with an E, an A, and an E. And we bring it up a, fr a fret, keeping the E, but keeping the other two up. So I mean, it's those two up, one up, one fret. And then it's on the after beat, one and two and, that we do this nice dissonant chord. It's a D, a G sharp, and a G natural. All right, then we work our way back to the E, to the A chord. Change bass up. All the same again. E minor, F, E7, and our sliding half bars. To our E7 with a C sharp. And now we got a ninth chord. Melody in the top, but I use my breast stroke with the, on the ring finger. Like that. And uh, uh, keep the A in melody, but move the chord down one fret. And down one more fret, lifting off of the A. Alright, and then we have. This is an E. It's a B minor 7 chord to the E7, and then we have an open A, and a little line here, and some triplets. Half bar, triplets, harmonic, on a 7th fret, and then we've got D sharp, G sharp, F sharp, open string. G sharp and a C sharp with an open G in between, and move that over a string to a C. Now a melody on the B note, form the chord, move it down a fret, and then we have an open a D. I'm oh, sorry, D on the uh, sixth string, a C. So it's a D seven with an open G in the, on the third string. Fourth finger down on the F sharp, move it down a fret, and then we're going to play the um, F natural with an open E, and then the open strings. Then we have a, a, a D, an A sharp, C natural, and F sharp. Lay your half down, uh, half bar down on the uh, uh, sixth fret and hammer down from a D sharp to an E. E on the bass, A note, and now we're going to work our way up. Um, that's like a D minor seventh chord. It won't go up chromatically. First and third fingers together next to it. And then to, to a D, and then we do little half bars starting the G natural and a D sharp and we kind of move our first fi first finger and second finger like that and then second and third finger and finally we have an E in the top G sharp F natural which is going to go to an F sharp to an E harmonics two of them we've got a 7th fret harmonic on the D string and the 9th fret harmonic on the E string. Get those to pluck out. You've got to get back close to the bridge. Now we have a B note, an F natural, an open E, which I strum. Then we have a rest for a beat and a half. One and two. The last one, which we damp. 
playing pizzicato. That's an A, a C sharp, and an F sharp. All right, there you have a lot of inner workings of what's involved there with uh, the concert walls. Of course, you know, you can hear how it is in rhythm uh, with the recording of the song. I hope, I hope you enjoy something from that that you can take to your own playing. Take care. God bless.